Welcome, thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're gonna to start having a conversation about how to analyze one quantitative variable. So we've already looked at ways to analyze categorical data, and as a reminder, quantitative data is going to be a meaningful number. So it can have units connected to it, you have mean, a mean calculated for it, you can have um, differences calculated for it. So there's a lot more to do with the numeric measurement as opposed to the numeric summaries that we had for categorical data. So today we're gonna to start talking about descriptive statistics and specifically we're gonna do just numeric summaries and we're just gonna do one type of numeric summary. So remember with descriptive statistics, you can have numeric summaries or you can have graphical displays. So today we're focusing on numeric summaries and we're just gonna focus on one numeric summary for one quantitative variable. That numeric summary that we're gonna look at is called the five number summary. So the five number summary has five numbers connected to it. So we'll have the maximum, we'll have something called Q3, we'll have a median, um, which is usually just shorthanded to M. We'll have something called Q1, and then we'll have a measurement called the minimum. Now the maximum and minimum don't really need to have a definition because it's pretty obvious, but this is going to be the largest value in the data set. So we'll say the largest number, and this is going to be the smallest number in the data set. Now notice that there's no qualifiers on that. It is the largest or the smallest. Sometimes people get confused when they see these things called outliers and they think that they should include them, but that's not true. It is either the smallest or these largest. So if you have outliers, most likely one of them will be either the minimum or the maximum. And then we have these things called Q3 and Q1. Now Q3 is actually referred to as Q3 in shorthand, but its full name would be the third quartile, the third quartile. So focus on quart, so the quarter, and this would be the first quartile. Again quarter. So essentially when you're looking at the five number summary, it breaks the data up into 25% chunks. So I'll just show you really quickly the, the math on that. So always a whole data set would be 100%, right? The median then would be 50% is below that point and 50% is above that point. That's why it's called the median or the middle because it breaks the data up into half. So it's gonna be 50% above, 50% below. With Q1, because it's the first quartile, that means there would be 25% below that. And what percent would be above it? Well, it would be the remainder of the 100, right? 75%. So Q3 then would have three quarters below it. So we would have one quarter between Q1 and the minimum, one quarter between the median and uh, Q1, and then between Q3 and the median would be another quarter, hence Q3. So that also means that there's 75% of data is below Q3. So this whole line would be 75%, but in the smaller chunks here, we would have 25% in this spot, 25% in this spot, and that's how you get that 75%. So that also means that between Q3 and the maximum, you have 25%. So that's how they get their names. Q3 has three quarters below it. The median has two quarters below it. Q1 has one quarter below it. That's why it gets the name Q1. So stands to reason then that the median could also be called Q2 because it has two quarters of the data below it. So in the next videos, we'll be talking about how to analyze this data by hand and with a computer package. See you then.